daisy and they're so cute like like look how happy it looks okay so i finished all the cups for this order i don't have high hopes for her Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you clicked on this video. I am still recovering from a cold. I don't know what it is that I have contracted, but I've been sick for like a week and a half now. And I think it's pretty obvious by now that my immune system is really bad because I think I've been sick like every other month in the past like two years. But anyway, we are still going to get through this week and power through even though I'm sick and I feel extremely tired. I am excited to get to work this week because we are working on a bunch of wholesale orders from the fair wholesale market and we have a lot of things to make and we kind of have to be really good at time management and blocking away certain days for certain things so today is going to be a very like editing computer work heavy day I want to try to get to punch needle or at least punch needle a couple of coasters I'll show you guys the frame that I will be working on today and tomorrow ideally it would be today and tomorrow but it may flood over into Wednesday this is the frame that we we have to do uh, this has I think three wholesale orders on it which is really good one of them won't be finished after this frame but we'll be halfway through which is very good these orders that are on this frame right now have to go out by February 13th I believe which is good we still have time it's only January 29th which is amazing I'm feeling really confident about my processing times right now and I think I've hit like the sweet spot at three to four weeks for punch needle which is really good I think I got 14 orders over the four days of the market it may not seem like a lot but the order Orders are very big and for my shop that is a lot of orders in four days so I'm very happy most of those orders have punch needles so obviously they're gonna take longer to get out I've already shipped out the ones that don't have any punch needle and that only had things that I had to make myself and two of them are scheduled orders which means the retailer has scheduled them to ship at a certain date so I can't actually ship it until that date that they've set I am doing really good on time I feel like I'm gonna get these orders out in the next like two to three weeks which is good maybe even two if we work really hard. Today is going to be really focused around admin and doing a lot of admin stuff to set up my week for success and I also need to edit last week's studio vlog and get that uploaded hopefully today before like four o'clock. I'm really going to try my best to get it done so I'm basically just going to start editing right now and I've already imported all the footage onto Final Cut Pro so basically all I need to do is just sit rough edit and then go in and add music and titles and stuff so I'm assuming it's going to take me like the next three and a half four hours. It usually takes me quite a bit of time to edit so those are the vibes for the morning. We'll pick back up once I finish editing the video, hopefully. I have a large coffee. I got a hot coffee today. I've been really into hot coffee from McDonald's lately. It's just been hitting the spot, especially because I'm sick. Hot coffee is just definitely what I need this morning. Mondays are always really difficult for me. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but for me, it's so hard to get out of bed on Mondays. And for me to find motivation on Mondays, is almost impossible. But we are still gonna do it anyway because motivation isn't always here. So discipline over motivation as I love to say, but hate to follow through with. So anyway, we are just going to get started on editing and then I'll see you guys once I'm done or once I take a little break, we'll see how that goes.
it is currently 8 30 and i've kind of just been punch needling away for the past three and a half hours i took a break earlier to make some chicken noodle soup i just kind of came up with the recipe on my own based on what i know goes in chicken noodle soup and it was actually really bomb and it definitely hit the spot since i'm sick and i wanted just like a cozy warm meal but this is how far we've gotten with punch needle for the day oops it actually looks really good i need to untangle some of the threads but it looks really good this dog paw is going to be for my market stock and yeah like this lavender and pink color combo is such a slay tomorrow i am going to be going to the gym I haven't been to the gym in like two weeks so it's gonna be my first day back i'm hoping that i'm not stuffy tomorrow because i can't work out and be sick it's just like impossible for me so i'm hoping that the stuffy nose goes away tomorrow and then i'm also going to be going to lunch or like a coffee shop with tova from reborn club i talk about her a lot she has her own youtube channel i'll link her stuff down below but i'm gonna try and film some stuff tomorrow for you guys we're gonna be working on some business stuff and just chatting about life stuff like that that's the plan for tomorrow i look so stuffy it's <laughs> so sick it is so funny to like see myself in the viewfinder and i also probably sound so disgusting and gross so i'm going to end this clip here and i'm hoping that tomorrow i'm not stuffy because it is probably so annoying to listen to me when i literally have blockage in my nasal passageways so i'm gonna say goodnight to you guys and then we'll pick back up in the morning so we'll see you guys then good morning everybody it is now tuesday i almost forgot what day it was for a second it's 8 45 in the morning i am not stuffy today or like i'm like five stuffy which is good for me so I'm feeling so much better I feel so good I am full of energy I just uh, how I love not being sick okay so we have lots of things to get done this week I know yesterday was extremely low energy I think I probably looked like a zombie yesterday but I did want to at least get some stuff started to be filmed and I also needed to get punch needle started yesterday which is good that I got it started because I'm pretty much almost done so today the plan of action is to finish this frame I'm hoping to finish it now I don't know if I'm gonna be going to the gym or not depending on when he wakes up and when he decides to go I may or may not go or I might just go in the evening today so I shall see what the plan is we might just go in the evening together instead but I do know that in the meantime I'm gonna start on punch needle and I'm gonna catch up on some small business vlogs I'm leaving around like 11 50 12 o'clock ish to meet her for like 12 30 actually so happy with how it turned out everything looks so cute this frame is just such cute vibes like look how happy it looks okay anyway i am going to cut this up when i get back i am currently headed to the coffee shop to meet up with tova i'm gonna put some mascara on because i literally look like death so um to look a little less like death i'm gonna put some mascara on maybe some blush get my color back and then i'm gonna pack my bag really quick then we're gonna head out i'm gonna try to bring the camera film if i get a little nervous i don't know <laughs> i'm at the coffee shop getting over my social anxiety this is exposure therapy what are you working on today Right now, I'm working on actually opening up Illustrator. I'm working on Patreon, because we need to get that done. Because tomorrow is the last day of the month. And I'm working on my music playlist. <laughs> Hard work is being done right now. Oh yeah. Iced vanilla latte. Mm -hmm. It's very good. back 
from my little outing today. I got some coffee shop footage. If you saw the last couple of clips, I was internally screaming, but Tova helped me with some. We like to call it exposure therapy, and I feel much more comfortable to film in public. And slow baby steps. We can't be amazing at content creation outside of the home immediately. So I am home now. I'm going to most likely take a shower and change my clothes. I am going to sit and finish editing the February reset video. So I'm just going to edit the video that way. I don't even have to think about that tomorrow and I can just work on punch needling and getting some cup orders done because I have an order that has 18 cups that needs to go out tomorrow. So we're going to be doing that. I always like over explain I feel like and I think it might be annoying. <laughs> so I'm going to try not to explain what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to show you guys instead. I also got this bamboo plant from one of the nurseries near me. My mom and I went, so she's so cute. I really love it. I don't really have many plants down here because there's no windows, so I can't really have plants. But that's my one baby plant, and I'm very bad at taking care of plants, so if you don't see her for very long, it's because she died. Because even low maintenance plants, like a bamboo little plant, I can't even take care of, so <laughs> I don't have high hopes for her. It is Wednesday. It's 2.30 very late in the day. I'm starting extremely late. I did some work a little bit earlier. I uploaded the February reset video and I stayed up late last night to finish actually editing it. So I kind of gave myself a little bit of grace this morning. I had a lot of trouble falling asleep last night. I didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m. So I didn't actually get up at 6 30 like I had planned. I actually got up at around like 8 30 and then I went to a workout. I went to grab a couple of things from the store and then I had a Pilates class at 12. So I did two workouts today and and I'm quite tired. I am not 100% over my sickness. I thought I was, but I still have like a lingering like stuffy nose, but it's not stuffed. Like, I don't know. I'm just wishing that this sickness would finally end. I feel like I've been sick for like a week now and I, I just, I know every time I get sick, I'm going to be sick for a while. So I'm just trying to kind of push through the tiredness and feeling like sick and like congested in my head. So I'm basically going to just be working on some orders. We have this frame that we need to actually get done. I was hoping to get it done yesterday, but but that I had editing to do, so I didn't end up doing that. So I'm gonna work through this frame. I'm gonna make some cups. I'm going to try to get a wholesale order done. It has like 18 cups, I believe. I got in all the transfers. I have like four Amazon boxes here that need to be unpacked and I have like a bunch of restocks for stuff. So we're gonna unpack and just do a bunch of work today until I'm ready to stop and probably take a nap. Honestly, I am so tired. I don't know like what I have or had and I'm getting over but it seriously has drained all the life out of me. Yesterday I was feeling like so good and I took advantage of it and kind of like just worked and did a lot of stuff, went out, got some fresh air. But like now it's like hitting me again where I'm like, oh my God, I'm just so tired. Nonetheless, we are still gonna do some work. I'm just gonna kind of take it slow and sit at my desk and watch some videos and just work in silence probably. <laughs> um, and then hopefully we'll get a decent amount of stuff done today given how tired I am. Playing trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive and get down and dirty. I got the bad guy.
Okay, so I finished all the cups for this order. Now all I have to do is gather the air fresheners and then package them up and send them out. It's 4.30, I'm gonna go upstairs and feed my cats and grab a little bit of something for myself. I don't know if I'm gonna have dinner quite yet or if I'm gonna have like my pre-dinner snack. Then I'm gonna package up these cups and the air fresheners for this order to be sent out. And then I'm gonna package up a couple of Etsy and Shopify orders. And then I'm gonna work on getting this frame done. I'm going to watch a movie tonight at like 7 30 so i'm just gonna work until then and see how much we can get done before tomorrow I literally pulled out my iPad. I have it in the like folio case right now because when I took it to the coffee shop, I was using it as a laptop. But I literally cannot find my Apple Pencil. Like it is nowhere to be found. So I feel like I left it at the coffee shop or it must have like fallen out of my bag. I'm gonna keep looking for it when I get home after I go to the movie theater, but I think I've lost it. We have projects to work on. We can't have no Apple Pencil. I finished packaging all the orders that I can. They're right behind me over there. I feel really proud of the progress that I did today. I really need to get that frame cut out and get those stuff glued so that I can put together some of the orders and get them sent out and just see what I'm working with for the rest of the week. It'll be Thursday tomorrow so we will have to definitely get started on a new frame so we can finish one on Friday and have two frames done this week and that way I'll keep up with the orders I don't want to fall behind even though I'm sick that's the game plan for tomorrow I'm definitely not going to film for the rest of the night so we'll just pick back up in the morning and hopefully I wake up early and get a good night's sleep I am so wishing that I can get a good night's sleep because I have not slept well in a while so I'll see you guys in the morning Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. Let's take these off because I can't even hear myself speak. Even though it's literally 12 o'clock, I am going to have a productive day today. So I just opened up all my Amazon packages. I actually like, got those delivered like two days ago, but I just never had the time to open them. So I opened them now. I got a bunch of restocks of supplies to make a bunch of the wholesale orders. So I got the car vent clips. I got more ink for my printer. I got the laminating sheets. And then I also got the glitter laminate for bookmarks and then my paper that I use is almost running out and I get it from the States importing stuff from America to Canada is like sometimes really really expensive so I found a new paper on Amazon so I'm gonna try to test out a bunch of different types of paper and hopefully I find one that sticks I really love the Red River paper that I use for all of my print products but it can get a little pricey so if I can find a better alternative that's a bit cheaper or like an equivalent that's cheaper, I will start using that. If not, I'll just continue to buy Red River paper. I'm gonna make a whole separate video on this, I think, but I'll just like kind of briefly talk about it, is I want to take my business in a new direction. So I want to slowly get rid of a lot of the products that I offer that don't sell really well online or that I no longer feel resonates with me. And I've been trying to get rid of like my last little bit of keychain stock and now they're like not selling at all 
all. I got rid of a bunch of them actually and now I just need to get rid of the last like straggler pieces. I really want to focus on making like punch needle and rugs and just like hand tufted type of things like that's really what I want my focus to be on. The one product that I will not get rid of is my air fresheners and I will not get rid of my stickers so those two I'm gonna keep. The stickers are handmade and if I keep getting orders for them and I get busy and I no longer have time to hand make stickers I'm just gonna start outsourcing them and my air fresheners I get them manufactured so I don't have to worry about like hand making them but because punch needle is so time consuming and it really is like a lot of the percentage of my orders I feel like it's a good business decision to kind of move in that route but that's kind of what I want to do I have to really sit down and think about it I have to kind of rebrand ish a little bit and kind of post about it on Instagram and I want to start making more punch needle content on TikTok that's kind of where I'm moving towards for my business I think that's going to be sort of like a mid-February maybe even beginning of March depending on how fast I can kind of get it together I also have something really cool that I'm in the works of I'm planning it I'm hoping to have it maybe by end of March like set up for April so that's exciting and I'm so excited to finally bring it because I have thought about this for a long time especially because I always get questions about punch needles so I'm excited I'm not gonna say any more about it because I want it to be a surprise but that I have some cool like punch needle related things coming in the next couple of months so I really want to take my punch needle and like just expand it and be able to offer like a bunch of different punch needle products and unfortunately like I cannot physically do that if I have to constantly make cups and mugs and stuff and honestly I love the cups and I love having like cool cute cups in my house and stuff to use but I just I really don't find it fun anymore and I feel like there's just so many other businesses out there who do the cups and who have the same designs because we all get them off of Etsy which I'm not shading anyone who uses them or like who makes cups and who does that and I feel like this is what's gonna help my business kind of grow and I want to do something that's like unique to my style and my designs so yeah I want to do more like brand stuff so I want to work with a bunch of small businesses and maybe do like custom mug rugs for them or custom rugs so I just have a lot of ideas and I know that I need to kind of cut back on some of the things that I make so that I can really pour my full 100% into punch needles so that's just a little insight about what's going on business wise in my brain I constantly think about this so I feel inspired and I'm really excited to kind of take my business and shift to a new path the first thing that I have to do is get this punch needle stuff cut glued and prepped and ready because I can send out an order I just have to actually finish the punch needle stuff and then I need to get a new frame on it and get the designs traced out and then start punching and hopefully have half of it done tonight because we need to get back on track tomorrow I have a birthday dinner at my aunt's and she lives like an hour away so I'll have to finish working a little bit early so with that being said let's just get started usually I don't post usually I don't post but I want the world to know Drop top out Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah We've been keeping it in the house Netflix and chillin' I GDMing, yeah Didn't wanna share my love Till I found someone I'm sure of Young and untamed I've been out of range Keeping it low But I wanna be bold with it Don't care what we told about it Wow, baby, gotta hold on it Let love unfold tonight They'll be calling us gold But I never let them catch me No, I never let them claim me Wild thing, try to tame me But you got my mood on sunshine Let's take a trip but I want to show you guys the coasters that finished. You probably saw during the process, but I want to show you because I am literally obsessed. I have been loving all the new designs lately and I don't know. I just think they're so cute. This order that I got on Etsy is so cute. The colors that you picked and just the vibe is everything. So this is the Etsy order. She ordered a heart coaster and also this pink and lavender and this was customized to fit her colors so these two and then also 
this happy daisy and they're so cute like pink yellow purple this is giving valentine's this one is giving spring i love this color combination it looks so pretty and then we have these are for a wholesale order i don't actually remember like which wholesale order it's for but we have two happy daisies actually this eyeball is like one eyeball is skinny and one eyeball is not skinny so let's fix that you can manipulate the threads and move them around with like a needle that's usually what i do there we go that looks more symmetrical now we have two happy daisies and then we have two evil eyes or two rainbow evil eyes these ones have been super popular lately i've been loving them they look so cute look at the eyeballs <laughs> i remember it looks so weird doing that anyway um so those and then i made this one for my market stock i I mentioned in my recent video that my goal for February is to make 10 mug rugs and 10 car coasters for my market inventory. So this will be the first one. I had another one that I made like last week. Um, but I want to start building that so that when market time comes around, I don't have to stress about not having punch needle items. I also made two car coaster sets for an order that I can ship out later. So we have the single daisy and the strawberry, and then we have two of these daisy yin and yangs. I just finished packaging a couple of orders that I've been working on, and I still have a few more that I need to package, but I have to actually make the stickers and the cards that they ordered. So I'm going to work on those potentially tomorrow or Monday because they don't have to go out until Monday. I just finished writing down all of the stock that I have left of my air fresheners. This has been a task that has been long overdue because I need to update my fare with all of the correct inventory for the air fresheners since the market. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually update all the SKUs on the platform. Okay guys, so I just took a shower. If you couldn't tell, I feel fresh and I actually have way more energy than I did before I took the shower. I told myself like I would shower and then I would start punch needle, but because I have been kind of dreading punch needling right now because I'm usually more energized and I feel more inclined to punch needle in the morning and I usually never punch needle at night but I want to get started on this frame but anyway I was procrastinating a lot so I finally took a shower and now I'm ready to start on the frame a little bit I really don't think I'm gonna get a lot done because it's pretty much I think it's 8 o'clock yeah it's 7 56 so I think I'm gonna punch needle for maybe about like half an hour 45 minutes and just see how much I can do and then we'll try to get most of the frame done tomorrow and if I don't finish it all tomorrow I'll work on it over the weekend that way it's done and ready to be prepped on Monday because this will then finish up two wholesale orders that I have and this frame that I did has a bunch of these designs on it. We have the happy daisy. I know it's upside down but we have the heart. We have a couple of straggler charms for the rest of the orders and then we have checker and a couple of car charms to start on another order. So we have about I don't want to like this is definitely not going to take the full like six hours that it normally does I feel like it's going to take like five and a half maybe even five hours 15 minutes so if I can do like 40 minutes maybe even an hour if I really feel like it um then I will and then I'm going to read before I go to bed and then I'm going to try to get to bed by 10 o'clock tonight outside my window is everything pale and cold Seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clouds I know the sun will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be right Somehow I must be Somewhere the sky is blue
Okay guys, so it is almost three o'clock, I believe. I don't actually know. Yeah, it's three o'clock. And this is the progress that I've made on the frame so far. I have about 40-ish minutes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this on the weekend. I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, but I knew I do know that I want to finish this before Monday. So I'm going to try my very best to get it done this weekend. Like I said, I only have like 40 minutes. So even if I do 20 minutes tomorrow and 20 minutes on Sunday, it'll be fine. I do have to get ready now to go for dinner and where I'm going is about an hour and a half away from my house. So I have to start getting ready and clean up my house before I leave. So I'm gonna close this video off here, but I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me. I love always filming these videos. They are by far my favorite videos to film. And I just love showing you guys my week and getting to interact with you guys. So if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because you don't wanna miss any more studio vlogs or any recent videos that I post. And I love you guys very, very much. Have an amazing weekend or week or day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you all next week. Bye.